as you can see in order to um, create a, uh, a window usually you uh, go new new folder and then here you will find the window builder um, but as you can see it's not there so we are going to install it. so i'm going to click on help then i'm going to click on install new software and uh, this wizard will uh, open and uh, this is the section where you enter the URL uh, which Eclipse will use to uh, download the software. So next, let's head over to the uh, browser and after doing a search for, um, for Window Builder for Eclipse, you will eventually end up in this page. Here you will select the link copy the link that matches the Eclipse version that you have. So in my case, I'm using Neon. So I'm going to right click on this link. I'm going to click copy link address. Then I'm going to go back into Eclipse and I'm going to control V to paste it in the search box. And then I'm going to click add. I'm going to, for some reason it's not, um, filling out the section, so I'm going to name it first. Then I'm going to cancel first. I'm going to click add again, and for some reason it's not populating that box, so I'm going to put it there myself, and then I'm going to name it and now I'm going to click OK next I'm going to select all if you expand the window builder you should be uh, you should have a checkbox next to every single uh, one of them so next I'm going to click next and I am going to uh, allow for the software to install I'm going to click next again I'm going to accept the license agreement. I'm going to click finish. And I'm going to pause the video for a second. Okay, so next, uh, you will need to restart Eclipse, so click yes. Okay, so once Eclipse restarts, go ahead and uh, open the project and right click on SRC or the source directory and then go to new and go to others and look for the window builder. So expand that directory and expand the swing designer and uh, we're looking for application window. So click on it and then click next. Give it a name. I'm going to call mine um, test GUI and I'm going to click finish. And this will generate the code for my uh, graphical interface. So if I click on this tab over here, the designer. Now, as you can see, I have um, the graphical designer interface uh, available to me uh, in, order to, in order to start designing the, the interface. So that's pretty much it. That's how you can um, install the window builder and uh, start a graphical interface uh, designer uh, project. I hope the uh, tutorial was helpful and uh, thanks for watching.